You are now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. Engines armed. What's up, guys? It's your boy Sunshine. So today I have a bill for you, and um, it's the Yakazua, however you say it, the 226R frame. Um, so we're gonna just do a dry build. Just to show you guys what this frame is gonna look like. I did order the parts, so I will be getting the parts soon. Let's take everything out of the contents. We have some straps that comes with it. Uh, four arms. Oops, I dropped it. The bottom plate. Stickers. I like stickers. I don't know why there is the stickers. Uh, top plate, uh, camera mount, and uh, this. I believe this plate is this plate is for a support plate for the camera on top. All right, and we have here is our lovely bag Oop. of stacks. Bolts, stack holders, and bolts. And this is where the stack bolts onto. So what you wanna do first is take these rubber garments and you're gonna place them inside the countersink holes. Um, so start from the top. Oh, this stack does 20 by 20 and also 30 by 30. So I'm gonna fast forward this video so you guys don't see me putting these things on and we'll come back to it. All right, so this is the way it should look. And now we're gonna place our stack bolts from the inside, like so. I don't know if you guys can see that. Put in place, so we'll set that to the side. Next thing we're gonna do is we wanna grab um, our bottom plate and we are gonna do Put in the arm. So you want to screw these in. There's countersink holes as well. So what I'd like to do is I start them off a little bit and put them in like that. All right. So this is where the arms are gonna bolt on. So next one you do is put your arms in. So something like this. Then what you wanna do is grab your plate for your stack holder, and this is gonna lay over it. Now, the trick to this thing is you have to literally hold it. And what I like to do is just screw a couple threads here in the front and work my way around. Okay. So at this point, you're gonna wanna put your all your electronics, you know, all your motors, your stuff, run everything because this is pretty much it. Uh, your next step is to put this for the top plate. Okay, so it should be this. And now we can actually screw in our standoffs. Next, we're gonna grab our camera mount plate and our top plate. And you wanna go with the wider part, that's the front. And these just sit in there, like so. Just make 
making sure it's good enough. Okay. So this is our support plate on top. It's gonna sit right on top. Kind of shake whole side up. Very simple. And what's cool about it is that if you ever wanted to change, you just loosen this one bolt here. And you can see that in the camera. And if you want to go, for, this is a true X, stretch true X. Or if you want to go to a squish, you just turn. And you see. So that's pretty cool. There it is, guys. So we'll see. I am going to order some parts, motors, uh, flight controller, ESCs, and uh, we're gonna build this thing together. So make sure you stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoyed me putting this together. And it's really nice frames. You guys should. Uh... So that's it, guys. It is complete. Um, so stay tuned. Oh, let's. Uh... For those who are wondering how much this thing weighs, uh, let's see if I grab this phone real quick. It is 100 grams. So there you have it. So please stay tuned because we're gonna build this together, guys. We're gonna build this together. Your boy, Sunshine, signing out.